Long time no see, guys. As you can see, I have a beard now. It's pretty cool. Um, me and Katie are heading out to uh, just do some running around, go to Sam's Club. But first, we have a little project. As you can see, we have these mailboxes outside of our apartment. But we have mailboxes on the inside. You can't see those, but see? See, we have mailboxes on the inside. So, what we're doing is we always put our mail outside. And like, people have bills, and like bank statements and stuff. <laughs> and like, you just grab it and it's not secure. So, what we're doing here is Katie's using a, a, a needle nose. A needle nose plier says a hammer because we currently don't know where our hammers are. So, we're putting the sign up, basically telling the mailman that the mailboxes are inside, not out here. So it's a really adorable sign that I made. And this 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 scan bar right here. QR code. QR code scan thing. Yeah. Plays the Wait, uh, please Mr. Postman. Please by the Mr. Beatles. Postman by the Beatles when someone scans it. It's pretty sweet. Because I figure that the people that know the song won't know how to use the code, but the people that know how to use the code won't know the song. So I put it up there so people aren't just like, wow, this person's a bitch putting this sign out for their mails, man. <laughs> but I'm not, a, I'm not a bitch. I really, I just want to receive all of my mail. In fact, I was supposed to have received a new debit card. It hasn't showed up yet. It was supposed to come two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. When did you find that out? When that it, supposed it, to be... it still hasn't come. It was supposed to be two weeks after whatever date, and it never came. Crazy. I know. So yeah, we are going to head out and do some running around here. It's winter here in good old Wisconsin, as you can see, and uh, it's not the coldest day. We've had some pretty bad days. But yeah, uh, head to the Sam's Club, stuff like that. See ya. We have a green turn arrow, as long as this person... Doesn't pull out in front of us. Ah, curses! This person's going straight, and I can't get around. We can't back up either, can we? I could, but there's cars coming, and it would be dangerous. Yeah. So we are on our way to Sam's Club. We're going to stop at first because it closes sooner than any other place. I think they close at like 8, right? Yeah. So we're going to stop there and uh, do some running around, look around, and possibly sign up for a membership. Maybe. And then we're going to go take a look at uh, a few places for freezers to stockpile food and meats and we actually Dead might be able to get one at Sam's Club. We might be able to get one at Sam's Club. Oh. Like I said, it's been a long time since we've... Since I've done this. There's been a lot of changes. Obviously, beard. I'm no longer Number working. Number one being beard. Number one being beard. I'm no longer working for AT&T. No. Nope. Um, I'm working for another company that you don't know but I'm enjoying my job so that's all you have to know about that um, can't really talk about it right now but as soon as I can I'll let you guys know but uh, also we've rearranged our apartment so it looks good oh yeah that's exciting and there's another big big change in our life uh, kind of an add on but yeah, we won't, yeah 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 we won't tell you what I, that is uh, I will I will I'll tell you not yet I wear skinny jeans now. Oh yeah, Katie wears skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> this last summer we were at our friend's house and we were playing Never Have I Ever around the campfire and I said, never have I ever bought a pair of skinny jeans and like all 
the little hipsters around the campfire had to take a drink and I didn't but now I would have to take a drink because I own two if not three pairs and she I loves love them. them. Doug is the one that made me get them. Yeah. I tried them on and I said I looked like an upside down bowling pin and he said no babe you look so cute you have to get them. Anyway. That's what I said, because I'm an awesome husband. You do say things like that. Um, there's one really big change in our life. Something that we have added to our family. Yeah. But we won't tell you what that is until a little later. Okay? Exciting. It's a gecko. <laughs> Here you go, babe. What? TV for 80 inches. Oh, yeah, that would be good in the living room. It would. So, yeah. Oh, office supplies. Katie loves her office supplies. She's become addicted to uh, Filofaxes. She has two. And how many do you have? Two. Okay, so what's the problem? Nothing. I didn't say there was a problem. Command strips. She's in heaven. I'm, oh my god. What? <laughs> no, I don't like the yellow. I don't know. I have so many. I have a whole basket full of posters. The amount of posters that this woman has is amazing. Now, would this fit in the back of our A5s? Uh, yes. We should get some. We don't need 24 of them. That is correct. <laughs> so maybe when we're at a normal store. <laughs> One sweet cucumber. I've never seen that. It kind of looks like okra. That's why I, 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 yeah, I thought it was. Oh, if you guys have never had grapes from Sam's Club, they're amazing. And I mean, look, look how like, huge they are. That's not a good example. Here, look. <laughs> huge. People are staring at me because I'm vlogging. Is <laughs> my head steaming? <laughs> so we left Sam's Club and went to uh, a local grocery store called Woodman's. You might have one by you. In fact, if you in my family, I know you have one, buddy. So, I'm just waiting for Katie to bring the car around so I can load it up. It's gotten a lot colder since we left home. Um, yeah. I don't know if you can hear me because Smash Mouth is playing in the background. So, we're home. Katie's getting dinner ready here. It looks That's amazing. <laughs> It's unappetizing when it's all put together when it's not put together. So, should we tell them our big one of our big secrets? Well, we both lost our jobs, <laughs> and to replace that hole in our hearts, we got a puppy. We got a puppy, guys. I'd like you to meet Brody. Brody, Brody, say hi. <laughs> you got a puppy. He's a little dachshund. He's adorable. As you see, he likes Katie. Mm -hmm. He knows where food comes from. Where'd he go? <laughs> I'll just sit there while I cook. He thinks it's for him. <laughs> I know. Anything that comes out of a bag, right, Brody? <sighs> Sorry, He's pretty cute. Saying. So that's our puppy, Brody. Mm -hmm. More videos to come. More videos to come. 
And like I said, we have rearranged our living room. And it's messy. It's a little we messy. We've been, going on. we've been working. So yeah. We have a dog. <laughs> and that's him. He's pretty cute. He's 16 weeks now? Yep. Well, 16 weeks on Thursday. So, yeah. He's a full size Dachshund. We're pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Purebred. Medium yeah. length hair. And he's the cutest thing ever. And him and the cat love each other. Which we're oh, yeah. worried about. But... Where's the kitty? Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the Louie. There he is. There's Louie Cat. And now it's time for Cooking with Katie. Shut up, it's not Cooking with Katie. It's just, <laughs> this is what we're having for dinner. <laughs> so, um, does, you look great. Do I really? Yeah. Can you pause it for a second so I can see? Back to cooking with Katie. <laughs> okay, so what we're having tonight for dinner is this slow cooker chicken in a honey sauce. So um, this is the chicken over here that has come out of the slow cooker. Um, it's really good. We like our chicken a little dry, so I always overcook stuff so that it kind of falls apart. But it's really good. Okay. And um, then they recommended that you serve it with noodles, and we usually do all of our Asian food with rice, but I thought, what the heck, we'll do noodles this time. So what I did was, knowing that I was going to be making this, I picked up lo mein noodles, which apparently these are organic, which I didn't know, and they were just the only ones that they had. And they come in these really cute little packages. Like, they're all tied together. How cute is that? <laughs> so I just made two of them, and I made a ton of noodles. And my reason behind that is I can always make more for leftovers and things. But, you know, I don't want them to go bad. So the pack um, was like $1.30. Normally I would just use regular spaghetti, but I wanted to get fancy. And if I'm going to get two meals out of it, that's not bad. That's not much more than you pay for regular spaghetti. And spaghetti's not Asian. Yeah, and spaghetti's not Asian. So what I did was um, I used the slow cooker bags um, so that I don't have to clean my slow cooker. Is that a whole pack? Or that was this just two of them? two of them. Yeah. Wow, that's not a I lot. Know. Not a lot. Oh. I thought this was a ton. Okay. Um, I used the slow cooker bags and what I did was I just cut the corner of the slow cooker bag and drained the sauce into this pan. And then I added um, essentially half a head of honey. I don't know what measurement that is, but that's how much I added um, to the sauce to make it a little bit sweeter because it had kind of really cooked down and it wasn't very sweet after being in the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm just going to add all of these noodles to the pot or the pan and um, warm this back up again so that um, the noodles have the sauce on them. And then they'll be really pretty. Isn't this appetizing? You think Don't this it's... isn't enough noodles? No, no, that's perfect. Looks great, babe. I mean, we got all that chicken, too. Now, are we going to shred this? Um. I think we should. Okay. Or just, like, pull it apart with our hands or something. Mm-hmm. Drink of the evening. Oh, yeah, it's a Haitian treat. Ghetto drink of the evening. Ghetto drink of the evening. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. So I'm just gonna let this keep uh, keep warming up because I had it just on warm and I so I turned it up to medium so it'll kind of warm up a little bit and then I'm going to reheat the chicken and plate it and we'll be right back. Okay, so everything's all warmed up and ready to go now. So we're just gonna take our noodles, get a nice healthy supply of noodles. Oh. Get those on our plate. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then select our chicken. Okay. 
And then you're going to garnish this with sesame seeds, as per the recipe. And there you go, our delicious dinner. <laughs> and you can find a link to this on my blog, which is katherinelaura.wordpress.com. And I'm going to have a link to the recipe as well as how I altered the recipe. And that's it. Thanks.